we can use the create view statement in SQL to create a virtual table based on the results of a SQL statement. Now, one reason why we might do that is so we can prevent unauthorized access to data. Maybe someone doesn't need access to the entire table, just a portion of it, and we can put that in a view, which they would then query. So here's what the syntax looks like. We'll say create view, and then define a view name as, and then include our SQL statement that just subsets the table to only show what they need to see. So let's say we have a patient's table and we have patients from Madison and Milwaukee. And we have an assistant that works in our Madison office who only needs to see some of the data. Maybe they only need to see the Madison patients and for those Madison patients, maybe only their name, their city, and their state. So let's create a view to do that. We'll say create view Madison patients that we'll call it as select the name, the city, and the state, just some of the columns from the patient's table where the city is equal to Madison. And then what we can do is just query that view instead of the underlying table to only see a portion of the data, at least what we need for our role. Now, as a note, views are always current. They're going to be regenerated when we query them. And also, if we want to delete a view, we can use the drop view statement and then name the view that we'd like to delete. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.